Hello guys, it's Joel here, aka Gallant, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. These sneakers I have been obsessed with for the past, I don't know how long. I've mentioned them in many of my previous videos before, I even mentioned them one last week, being like, I can't wait for these. If you do like my videos and haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and share the channel with a friend if you think they might like the videos too. That would mean the world to me, and thank you so much for subscribing. I had a really bad sleep last night. I was like, I literally can't sleep, because today is the release day, and all I could think about was getting these sneakers just because I love them so much and I was like, I wanted them for so long, I was like, I have to get a pair and I just know how much hype is around them now. There's been loads of articles online um, bashing them for looking like old horrible sneakers and all this kind of stuff, but I, from day one, from the get-go, absolutely loved them and that's why for this, uh, they've been so delayed as well, like they were supposed to come out in like June, um, I think they were supposed to come out in June with the rest of the that collection and they literally didn't drop until now, the 21st of September. I was just looking at my last Balenciaga um, sneaker unboxing, which was for the Speedrunner. It was like seven, seven months, seven, eight months ago now, so it's in January. And it's nearly, at, it's on like 80,000 views, which is literally insane, because I don't think at the time a lot of people had done videos on Balenciaga sneakers. And as with the Speedrunners that I fell in love with then, um, these, Triple S sneakers I've fallen in love with as well. Um, if you do want to see the unboxing straight away, then probably skip forward a little bit, because I'm going to talk about the process of getting them this morning, which was an absolute nightmare. As these sneakers are quite rare and hard to get, I will put links to any possible places that might be stocking them down in the description below. Um, at the time of filming, the Balenciaga website actually still has some in stock, um, so I'll link to that as well. Um, so you might possibly be able to cop a pair, depending on, but I know they're really expensive as well. I just wanted to do an unboxing, show you guys what they're like, um, and it's kind of like first impressions for me really because I've tried them on in the store but it was very very quick it was very fast paced so here we go so excuse the state of me I rolled out of bed at I set an alarm for 6.50 um, I went to bed at like midnight I went to see it last night with my friend Tom um, wasn't scary wanted to be scared but wasn't scared if you know any scary films let me know because I really want to be scared at home and it wasn't because of it that I couldn't sleep it was because of these sneakers because I knew that the launch was today and I just didn't know how many people would be queuing outside Balenciaga um, so I set my alarm to like 6.50, woke up, threw some clothes on, shot straight out the door, got to Balenciaga around 7.40 and there was about 15, 20 people in the queue in front of me already so I was like, um, this is alright, like, I was like, I might not get the colour or the size that I want but I knew I'd definitely get a pair and then the queue just kept getting bigger and bigger up until 10 because the store didn't open until 10 so I was there two hours 15 minutes early and then the store opened at 10 and by that time the queue was absolutely huge I was like oh I'm glad I came that early to be honest even though I thought I was mental and then as the store opened at 10 they let like the first 10 people in who obviously stood around buying their shoes and stuff they took literally like 45 minutes I was stood outside the store for another 45 minutes before they started letting it was like one in one out like once people had bought their shoes they would leave and more and one other person could go in to then buy theirs but the people that went in first took their sweet ass time. So they were literally like just chilling, like sat down, like reading books, like having a little sesh. And I was just, I just stood in the queue outside, just like, hurry up. Like, I had places to be. I just did an Instagram takeover for Selfridges uh, for the new Polo Ralph Lauren collection, which is really cool. So if you're viewing this on day of upload, you can go watch that Insta story. Um, uh, so that's the official Selfridges. Um, I had to go and do that after. So I was like in a rush. I was like, I need to get these trainers and I need to leave. Um, so I stuck it out for another like, they let me in like 15 minutes. I got in at 11, I think I got in the store at 11. I was super quick though. I was like, I know what color I want. I know what size I am. Just try them on, they fit, yeah, good, bang. So here they are in all their glory. It's very white, so it might be not showing up. So they had five colorways in store. I knew I wanted this colorway all along. Um, and when I went in, it was really nice actually. It was quite a nice experience once you're inside after the queuing because the staff were really friendly. It was all very like, proper because it's still Balenciaga you know? it's still like a high-end store where you usually like go in you have a little drink you sit down you like take your time that's what like high-end shopping is usually like it's not rushed it's not queued it's not you know it's not like queuing for a pair of Yeezys it's like completely different so I think they were struggling to like handle knowing how to handle this kind of launch as well that has got so much hype around it and to be honest considering the tr sneakers have such a high price point I didn't expect there to be that many people when you think of it, it's actually crazy. There was literally, there must have been like 80 to 100 people in the queue by the time the store opened. 
and each person was going to buy a pair of sneakers and each pair of sneakers is 595 pounds like just that is an insane amount of money that is about to be dropped in Balenciaga. I can understand when it's like Yeezys that are like 100 quid each or whatever, but when the pet, when the shoes are like nearly 600 pounds each, like that's literally insane. I wanted to buy two pairs, but they didn't let me buy one. I wanted to buy a, the grey colourway as well. But I thought, you know what, Joel? Don't be greedy. If you wanted these ones, get these ones, and you'll be fine. And they had them in stock online, and I was like, should I get them? I was like, no. I have. I think I have a shoe problem because I just ordered a pair of Vans as well. I really do need help. It's a massive box because the sneakers are huge. So, I went with the black and red colorway just because I thought they would fit my wardrobe aesthetic. Like, I'm in love with black and red. Like, I just thought these were really, really sick. Um, I thought they would go with a lot of stuff. And I just really like the look of them compared to the other ones. There's like an insane amount of detail in these from like little plastic bits coming off them to different colors intertwined within the sole. Um, the embroidery on the toe post, the mesh upper, the like heavy duty plastic on the bottom with Balenciaga embossed straight onto it. I actually, they already look ruined, but I don't want to ruin these even more. Isn't it hilarious how they look like dirty already? Like they literally like, some things online that people were tagging me were like, these are the sneakers that get left <laughs> in gym class. You know, when they're like, oh, pick a pair of trainers out of the bin and they're like stinky and smelly. Like they do give off that vibe, but I like it. Chunkiness of them is literally insane. Like compared to the, Raffs. Compared to the rafts that I unboxed last week, like these are beasts. They're literally behemoths. Is that a word? Is that the right word? Behemoths. They're literally, they're like tanks of shoes and they don't actually feel that heavy. They do have a bit of weight to them, but they're not like insanely heavy. So the actual sneaker is made up of like, I think that's why they're called triple S because it's like triple sole because there's three kind of layers to the sole and they've got like bits coming off them as well. They, last night Tom was like, oh, the Gundam shoes because they look like Gundam wing, which I know, I see where he's coming from actually. Um, but I also love how each pair has a different embroidered size in it as well. So I'm a UK 9, so I went for 43, which is European 43, which is a UK 9. So true to size and they fit perfectly. You do have to tie them up quite tight because of the lacing mechanism because it is Kind of like a sports kind of sneaker, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like these tube laces and then you've just got to like tie them in a little, I think I'm going to do like a knot kind of thing in them. But I love how aged they look already. I think it's really, really cool. Um, and they are super, super comfortable when I tried them on. I just took some pictures for my Instagram and for the thumbnail as well. And they are super, super comfy. I can't wait to wear them out. I'm literally like, I've been so excited about these for so long, it's mental. Um, and it, it's just weird, isn't it, how a pair of trainers can stress you out. I'm just clearly consumed by capitalism. That's my life, but I'm good with it. I'm just like in awe of the design and the colorway and just everything about them. Balenciaga is just killing me right now. And even underneath, like the sole is like, it's like an alien foot or like a, ho a horse's hoof. I want to know what you guys think of these as well, because they are so controversial. Um, I want to know what you think of the colorway. I want to know what you think of the design. And I want to know if you would get them or if you have got them yourself, or if you think I'm mental for spending 595 pounds on a pair of sneakers. Not the most expensive pair of sneakers I've ever bought which is shocking as well. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what these look like on as well. The sole on them is a bit higher than my Alexander McQueen platform sneakers, so I think I'll be even taller in these. Actually six foot one, so like 183 centimeters. I love how some guy in the comments once was like, you're not that tall, and I was like, I am, and he was like, no, you're not, stop lying. And I was just like, why would I lie? Why would I lie about my height? People meet me in real life and they're like, oh shit, you're really tall. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so happy. I got out of bed in the morning. I'm so, so happy that I caught these. I'm literally over the moon, like, it's like Christmas. This is like, it's like better than Christmas because I've saved up my own money and was able to buy them myself. So it's like nothing more rewarding than that. But yeah, do let me know what you think in the comments below, whether you love them as much as I do or the way you think they're ugly. But that's the thing, they are ugly. They are ugly trainers, but I love how ugly they are. Ugly trainers, definitely the way forward. I hope you've enjoyed watching this unboxing video. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a follow over on Instagram and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye. <laughs>